Welcome to a new series of the CRA podcast titled CRA Tips, a series created for CRA practitioners. We know that managing the Community Reinvestment Act program for your financial institution can be challenging given the plethora of competing priorities. We know you're busy, so we will keep it tight and to the point. The weekly CRA tips are designed to give you something quick to digest in between our CRA webinars, our newsletters, and blog posts. And for those of you who are new to me, I'm Linda Izuka, your host and founder of CRA Today and the CRA Hub. The CRA Hub is an exclusive membership for bankers to master the Community Reinvestment Act and transform disadvantaged communities through the power of economic development. And if you are joining the podcast for the first time or are new to CRA today, you'll find that I'm very passionate about this community development work. So now let's get right to it. Enjoy the tip. Now that you have a brilliant document, the CRA self-assessment, now it's time to socialize it, right? You can use it for training. You can increase the awareness of the CRA program. You can pull out high level points from it and do a heat map, and then you can present it to executive management. You'll want to, now this document can be long and we care deeply about CRA, but you might want to chunk out pieces for different stakeholders within your bank. But use that document. That will position you for exam success and you really want to socialize it so people understand your CRA program and their role in it. You can set up some time for some informal training or coffee talks, Zoom or otherwise, where you can talk about different sections and highlight it for some of the teams. You can talk about the strengths of the weaknesses. You can also present the some of the gap areas and say, hey, lenders, what, what's going on here and how can I provide more context for the examiners here? So it can be an evolution, right? right? That that document is never quite done because you'll always want to add to it and have it for um, on a yearly basis, but also your exam period. So you'll be working a lot on it, but you definitely want to consider socializing it to a couple of different folks. Maybe that's your CRA team, right? And your key stakeholders, Uh, bank directors, but in bullets, right? With some heat maps and some bottom line, they're not going to read a 20 page document. So chunk it out for them. Um, Your CRA committee members, a lot of us run our CRA committee meetings and we use the self-assessment as a shared project. So you can loop back to them and and create that together and revisit it once it's done with them. You can also bring it to the treasury department, let's say, and you can say, here's the investment section. Thank you for all of your support. Here is how we are faring in the investment test if you're a large bank. You can also chunk out a piece of that self-assessment and go meet with the marketing department or social corporate responsibility or your foundation and say, look at all the great work you're doing and how it supports the CRA program. Again, they can tell you um, what new initiatives might be coming that you might you may have missed or you want to also add into that assessment. And last but not least, you want to socialize it, of course, to the retail distribution channels, right, and commercial lending units. So that self-assessment, I know it's a big lift, but it's an important document that you can socialize and leverage for training and make it an ongoing document that everybody can support and to pre-position your bank for your desired CRA rating. So I hope that helps. Uh, It's just another tip for you to consider as you embark upon your CRA program. Until next time, bye for now. Well, I hope this week's CRA tip was helpful and adds value to you and your CRA program. If you want to take a deeper dive into core concepts of the Community Reinvestment Act and connect with your CRA colleagues, you may want to consider joining the CRA Hub. We go live weekly with CRA-specific activities like core content training, Q&A sessions, challenges, guest speakers, and more. Check out CRAToday.com forward slash hub to learn more. Until the next CRA podcast episode, take care of you. Bye for now.